Welcome to Electron Online. Another aspect that we need to understand is what we call the arc length. And so here you can see a, a unit circle perhaps, and the radius of the unit circle is r. Well, it doesn't have to be a unit circle. r can be other than 1. r can be any value. Here's the angle of the, of the triangle here. And notice that if the angle is very small, the distance along the circle is about the same as the distance of the opposite side to the angle. But as the angle gets bigger, you can see that this distance right here along the circle will be different than the distance of the triangle that's made by this, uh, this angle. So this S here, this distance right here along the circle is called the arc length or the length of arc. This is considered an arc and there's a relationship between S, the distance along the circle, the radius of the circle and the angle of that triangle. And the relationship is that R times theta is equal to the arc length S. That's kind of interesting because what happens when the angle theta is equal, for example, to 2 pi? Remember, 2 pi, that's a full circle. And so if theta is equal to 2 pi, then we get uh, r times 2 pi is equal to s. And now if I reverse those two, if I write 2 pi r, most of us will recognize that as being the circumference of the circle, which means, of course, the arc length s along the edge of the circle, if the angle is 2 pi, would indeed be the complete circumference of the circle. So that's what we mean by the arc length. It tells you how, length, how long that portion along the circle is, and of course if the angle is 360 degrees, or 2 pi radians, then S indeed is the full circumference of the circle. So let's do a little exercise here to make sure we understand this. Here we have a circle with radius 10 centimeters. We're told that the arc length, the section along the arc here is 12 centimeters. What is the angle? So there you would say that uh, r times theta is equal to s. I always like to write down the original equation. And now we're going to solve this for theta. So therefore theta is equal to s divided by r. So it's simply the ratio between the two. So in this case, the arc length is 12 centimeters. The radius is 10 centimeters. So it's equal to 1.2. Now you wonder to yourself, 1.2 what? Degrees? Oh, not degrees. That is 1.2 radians. And so if we want to now find the angle in degrees, we have to do that conversion. And the conversion is that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. And so we multiply 1.2 times 180 divided by pi, and let's see what we get. So 1.2 times 180 divided by pi equals, and we get 68.75, make it 68.8. So it's equal to 68.8 degrees. And so that's how when we get we have a problem where we're given the radius of the circle and we're given the, the arc length along the edge of the circle. We can from that calculate the angle or in this case we can calculate r or s or theta if the other two are known. And that's how we do that and that's how we can, that's how we can understand what we mean with the arc length of a circle.